Hey guys, this is Rahat with Epic Tech. In today's video, we're going to unbox Jones Bow RGB memory heatsink. Um, and I will also show you guys how to install them. So let's get started. So as you can see, um, the box doesn't really have that much information instead, except the uh, branding name and the model number. Uh, so these come in uh, three different colors, uh, white, black, and red. And as you can see, I picked up the black version. So let's go ahead and get this open up, see what's inside. So you got the user instruction, and here is the headset itself. You do get uh, those thermal pads, um, and you also get a foam pad. And um, in the back, you will get the extension, uh, an extra screw, and an Allen wrench. So let's go ahead and open this up and show you how to get this installed. So out of the box, you can see um, it has a brushed aluminum design, and it's pretty slick. Um, it feels really good in hand, and then has some branding on the side and on top, and a really simple design on the left. Uh, so I'll go ahead and open this up real quick and show you guys how to install that real quick. There it is. I wouldn't recommend opening the entire thing, but um, I just want to show you guys um, the RGB LED strip. So this is the LED strip. I'll go ahead and put this guy back again to where it was. And for today's demo, I'm going to be using two different uh, uh, RAM stick. Uh, so this is the normal one and um, this is the a short RAM. So let's go ahead and install this first. I'll go ahead and take one of the thermal pads right? and then put this right here. Make sure it's even and least spread out. Okay, and now I'll go ahead and place the RAM module. There you go. It's time to peel the second thermal pads, and there it goes. Make it even. And I'll go ahead and place the front plate. You gotta make sure you align the screws. And now you can tighten these up. Once we're done, second screw here. You don't want to tighten them too much, so just tight enough to hold them together. So this is the first one, and this is the short ramp. I'm going to go ahead and open the second box and get stuff outside. They both come with the same items inside. Um, for this one, I went ahead and uh, cut the heat sink in half so um, it will be easy to install on the ramp. So I'll go ahead and show you. And I will also take the, um, the extensions out that I will need for the short ramp. Let's go ahead and open this real quick. on the side. So once you install these um, two spacer, I'll go ahead and take the first thermal stick and put the thermal pad right about here. I can place this here. Now I'm going to go ahead and place the ramp. 
align it right here so it doesn't move. And here comes the second thermal pad, which I will apply right above it. There it goes. Now you can go ahead and put the pleat back and gently align the plate right here. There you go. It's a perfect alignment. I'll go ahead and put the screw in right now. Um, when it comes to uh, the cabling, um, you can see they have um, a male and female three pin connector. Um, you can um, connect them, daisy chain them, right like that. And um, you could connect this to um, motherboard fan header to get it powered. Or what you could do is uh, grab, grab one of the uh, Molex to a uh, two pin connector, or uh, you can get um, a SATA to two pin collector, which I highly recommend. And uh, these does uh, give a, uh, more power to the, uh, to the LED strip, and then um, the, the RGB color will look much brighter with these. So uh, when you guys pick this item, uh, I would recommend picking one of these. Um, they're pretty cheap. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, set up the my power supply on the side, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick demo on the, the RGB light and how it looks like. I'll be right back. So for testing, uh, I'm using uh, one of my ITX motherboards, which has, um, i5 4690k installed so i'm gonna go ahead and just uh, install those ram stick on that and um, i also went ahead and set up my power supply on the side and here is the molex connection for that so i'll go ahead and connect the extension cable molex extension and connect the two pin connector to the molex extension and i'm gonna go ahead and flip the switch and you should be able to see the rgb light turns on there you go. Um, they look beautiful uh, for $20, you know. So these uh, does not come with any software or, or remote control. And um, they just run um, through the normal color cycle, as you can see. Um, so for $20, uh, you can't really complain. Uh, and if you are on a budget and um, you're looking for um, some cheap RGB effect, um, for your PC, then you can definitely check these out. Um, they're beautiful. Um, so these does require, you know, uh, some DIY, but it should be pretty easy for the beginners. Um, shouldn't be that difficult. So yeah. So if you guys are uh, interested in this RGB heatsink, um, the link uh, for them will be in the description box below. Um, so I got these from Amazon. Uh, but um, you can check out the uh, new egg link also because sometimes they do go out of stock So I hope this uh, video was helpful for you guys and then if you guys want to see more videos like this uh, Please let me know uh, on the comments below and please do subscribe to the channel and uh, Once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video